Hey friends, this month is all about starting the party where we get to choose joy and celebrate what God is doing. This week, we are going to look at Psalms that David wrote that talk about nature and just different things that God has made because we can find joy in everything around us. Let's go ahead and check out the Bible story now. Pop, pop, one 
more pop. Little bubbles are good, but do you know what's even better than little bubbles? Big bubbles! Wow! You can pretend to make a big bubble with your hands. Put your arms in the air like this. Great job! Now let's make lots of bubbles with the bubble machine. Oh, that was fun. Let's take a bubble break. I'm so glad God made bubbles. But God didn't just make bubbles. He made the whole world and everything in it. That's awesome! Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Luca! Who? Who? Blowing some bubbles, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie! We're having a giant bubble party! Bubbles are fun! It's true! They're part of God's amazing world! Who? Who? Listen to this story! Just follow me through! Follow me through! Follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> Hello, friends. I'm Aisha. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. Ooh, <laughs> I have so much joy today, and I made the best cupcakes. Do you want to see? Ta-da! <laughs> Look, they've got stars and fish and the moon and sheep. These are all things that can bring us joy. Which is what our story is about today. If you're ready for a story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a king named David. Get out your pretend trumpets to play because here comes King David. Ready? One, two, three. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Great job, everyone. He's here. You can put your trumpets down now. King David loved God, and he liked to write songs to God. One time, he wrote a song because everywhere he looked, he saw things God made that gave him joy. David saw the moon and the stars in the night sky and was like, Wow, God, can you say that with me? Wow, God, look at those stars twinkling up there. Can you twinkle your fingers like this? Wow, God, you are awesome. Then David saw the sun coming up in the morning and how it was so big and bright. And David was like, wow, God, say it with me. Wow, God, look at that big sun. Can you make a big sun with your arms like this? <gasps> wow, God, you are awesome. Then King David saw all the people God made, children and grandparents, farmers and fishermen. And David was like, wow, God, say it with me. Wow, God, look at all those people. Now point to yourself because God made you too. Wow, God. You are awesome. Each time King David saw something God made, it gave him joy. We can look around and see what God has made, and we can have joy all the time too. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie, tell me, who can have joy all the time? I can have joy all the time. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can have joy all the time? I can have joy all the time. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. When we see the world God made, we can have joy. Who? Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, when King David looked at the world God made, he had so much joy he wrote songs about it. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! God made so many wonderful things for us to enjoy. I'm gonna enjoy these bubbles some more. 
See you next time! A joyful heart is good medicine. Proverbs 17, 22. A joyful heart is good medicine. Proverbs 17, 22. created us with five senses. Do you know what those five senses are? If you're thinking hearing, you're right. If you're thinking taste, you got it. If you're thinking seeing and touching and smelling, those are all of our five senses. And God gave us those so we could see and hear and taste all the things that he has created. So let's go ahead and just thank God for making us and making the world around us. Dear God, it gives us so much joy when we look at this amazing world you made. Thank you that you have created everything and that you continue to create good things in our lives. There are so many places we can look and see your goodness. And when we do, we can experience joy. Help each of us this week look for ways we can experience you and your creation with the senses that you have given us. Show us how to look around at the people and the good things in our lives to find joy. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, friends. I'll see you next week as we finish up June, and then I can't wait to see you in July.